Hello and welcome to the session. The given question says, using vectors, prove that in triangle ABC, A divided by sin A is equal to small b divided by sin capital B is equal to small c divided by sin capital C, where small A, B and C are the lengths of sides opposite respectively to the angles A, B and C of triangle ABC. Let's now start with the solution. And let vectors A, B and C denote the vectors represented by the sides BC, CA and AB respectively of triangle ABC as shown in this figure. So this implies that sum of vectors A, B and C is equal to 0 vector. Let this be equation number 1. Now, taking cross product of vector A on both the side. On the left hand side we have vector A cross the sum of vectors A, B and C. And on the right hand side we have vector A cross 0 vector. This further implies A vector cross A vector plus A vector cross B vector plus A vector cross C vector is equal to 0 vector and cross product of vector A with vector A is 0. So this further implies that we have cross product of vector A and B is equal to minus of cross product of vector A and C which further implies that A vector cross B vector is equal to C vector cross A vector. Let this be equation number 2. Similarly, cross multiplying one by vector B, we get B vector cross A vector plus B vector cross C vector is equal to zero vector which further implies cross product of vector B and C is equal to minus of cross product of vector B and A, which is equal to cross product of vector A and B. Let this be equation number 3. Then, from 2 and 3, we have vector A cross vector B is equal to vector B cross vector C is equal to vector C cross vector A. Therefore, their magnitudes will also be equal. That is, magnitude of cross product of vector A and B is equal to magnitude of cross product of vector B and C is equal to magnitude of cross product of vector C and A. This further implies at magnitude of vector A into magnitude of vector B into the sine of angle between the vectors A and B. And the angle between the vectors A and B is pi minus C. So here we have pi minus C is equal to magnitude of vector B into magnitude of vector C into sine of angle between the vectors B and C, which is pi minus C. A and this is further equal to magnitude of vector C into magnitude of vector A into sine of angle between C and A which is pi minus B. Now, dividing throughout
by the magnitudes of vector A, B and C and then taking reciprocals we get first let us divide so on dividing we have sin pi minus c divided by magnitude of vector c is equal to sin pi minus a divided by magnitude of vector a is equal to sin pi minus b divided by magnitude of vector b. And now let us take reciprocal. That is magnitude of vector a divided by sin a. Since psi, sin pi minus theta is sin theta, this is further equal to magnitude of vector b divided by sin b is equal to magnitude of vector c divided by sin c. And since vector bc is equal to a vector, therefore magnitude of vector bc is equal to a. So here we have a divided by sin a is equal to b divided by sin b is equal to c divided by sin c. This is also called the law of sines for a triangle. So this is what we are required to prove. This completes the session. Bye and take care.